Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're back in Cabela's Dangerous Hunt. It's going to be picking up my career where we left off. I believe we are all getting really close to being done. Like right now we're in summer. We have only six missions left, or challenges left for summer. Um, it's going to be starting off, like I said, in summer we have Intruder, which is... Take the Intruding Mountain Lion with your handgun. Then we have choices, which is take one elk or mountain goat with a bow, and take to dinner, which is kill one pronghorn, then use its meat to attract and take the two mountain lions in the area. I think we're going to go with Intruder, play around with the pistols a little more. We have plenty of money. Um, we're actually doing very well. So I believe we are going to buy the 4570 revolver, which is the best revolver, I believe. Uh, it weighs the most, it costs the most, so I'm going to assume it's the best. Uh, we've got, I think we could get this done in 20 bullets, so we should be good to go. Alright, so here we are. We have the 4570, and we have to go take us a mountain lion. And I believe we have a coyote on us. Not anymore, we don't. So I believe our mountain lion is actually just right here, maybe? It's directly on the other side of this hill. So, should be seeing it right about now. We got a shot off on it. There's a big horn that's charging us. Not anymore. So I guess we need to go take care of our mountain lion. There we go. So here's our mountain lion. Weighed 146 pounds. We got $158 for it. It's scored 23 points. Which overall, I don't believe is a bad mountain lion. Well done. So now we're on to autumn. We have bait, which is take one doll sheep and use it to lure four wolves. We have rescuer, which is find the missing hunter before nightfall. I believe we're going to go with rescuer, just because I really enjoy doing these types of missions. Um, in my opinion, one of the best missions to do. They're normally pretty simple and they don't take too awful long to do. I believe we are gonna go with... I'm trying to think of a gun that we actually haven't used much. I don't think we've given the 30 alt 6 a try. I know it's definitely weaker than the other rifles, but we haven't used it yet, so I definitely want to give it a try. Um, I don't think we're gonna worry about getting the whole wood but 10. We'll get the 1x7. That should do just fine. We'll actually make money off of that because we went with a different gun. And yeah, we are good to go. Alright, so here we are. Um, I've actually never done this particular mission before. Um, I've done a, like, a couple of the other ones on here, but I've never done this one. This map for three. So I have been walking around this map for I don't even know how long. And just I've been to start back from the beginning and take the same route I started on. And I have apparently walked by this dude I don't know how many times. 
Well done. Alrighty then. You have completed the so now we're in winter, we have Ambush, which is take one elk, then use his meat as bait for three coyotes, and take them as well. It doesn't seem too difficult to do, so we are just going to get right on into it. Alright, so here we are, and our elk is actually right in front of us. And I believe it's just going to stand there until we kill it. I think going with a 30 out 6 was a horrible idea because it just took 4 shots to kill this elk. But here's our elk. Weighed 391 pounds, we got $140 for it, scored 115 points. And now we are able to go after our coyotes. That was an, uh, that was an incredible start. It was just right in front of us. So we're starting to get a little close to our first coyote and I think the way we're going to do this is the same way I do all the other ones, the easiest way. I'll get them to charge me and then I'll drop the meat and then we'll just shoot them like that. Makes this a whole lot easier because actually getting them to come to the bait is nearly impossible from what I've tried. But here is our first coyote. sees us so we are just gonna oh this is an awful rifle oh this awful this this rifle is so bad here's our first coyote it weighed 19 pounds we got 20 dollars and it scores 19 points very, very small coyote. So hopefully one of our other two will be bigger. I am surprised at just how awful this rifle is. So we are definitely going to be selling him to this. So I believe our last two coyotes are actually together. It should make this a little easier. But with this rifle being so bad, it might make it a little harder. I guess we will find out right here. So there's one. Okay, so we dropped that one. There we go. I think that's the best my aim's ever been in this game. So here's this coyote. It weighed 25 pounds. We got $25. And it scored 25 points. So 25 all the way around. And then here's our last coyote. It weighed 31 pounds. We got $31 for it and scored 31 points, which I believe is the biggest coyote we've ever killed in this game. Well, so here we are in spring on to our last mission, which is Black Death. Let's take the Cape Buffalo with a broken horn. So we are definitely going to need to sell our rifle for this one. So I believe we're just going to end up going with the. I feel like. I feel like the 460 Magnum would be better than the 416. So I believe we're going to go with it. We've got a scope, and we'll go ahead and get up to 20 bullets. I'll uh, sell this meat. Don't need it. And I feel like since we're going to be dealing with Cape Buffalo, we might as well go ahead and buy a med kit. Uh, we, ha we have the money to buy a tripod, but I'm afraid it'll weigh us down too much. So we're just going to go with a simple med kit and should be good to go now. So here we are. We we have the 460 Magnum, so I'm hoping that this gun is packing enough punch to bring down the Cape Buffalo. I'm hoping we can actually take care of this mission fairly quick, because I remember I never did this mission as a child. But I do remember K Buffalo being extremely aggressive. So I'm worried that we're gonna have to restart this mission a lot. Because I'm almost certain that if um, the wrong buffalo charges us and we're and we shoot it in defense, we're still forced to claim it. So here's to hoping. 
can actually use that it right there. Oh my god, that's it. Oh my god. Wow, alright. That was a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. I was really worried about how long it was going to take to do this. The 460 did a lot there. I'm really surprised. So we got to use this zebra fin to square up. There it really is. Is it going to turn around or is it going to run off? It's going to run off. Alright, so here's our buffalo. It weighed 1,712 pounds. We got $457 for it and scored 132 points. This is actually our first look at the cave buffalo. So, it, it's, a, it's sad that the horn was broke off like that because it would have been a really nice one. But hey, we got to see cave buffalo for the first time. Well done. You've completed. All right. So now on to our charter hunt. I mean, to see me. It's putting us in Alberta, but I want to see where exactly we can hunt. So we have Alaska, Alberta, Idaho, and North California. So I guess we'll go with Alberta. Uh, we have Foothills and Parkland. We'll go Parkland. And we're good on ammo and. Why? saying that we can't have a gun. What can we use? We can only use a bow or a knife. Okay. That's interesting. I haven't seen that before. So I think what we're going to do is instead of just using a crossbow, we'll try out, a, the, try out the compound bow. Uh, let's see what we can actually hunt. Uh, we got a lot of money back from that because of buying the bow. We have White, uh, white tail and black bear. So let's go black tail. <laughs> so let's go black bear and uh, wolf and see how this bow does. Alright, so here we are. We have one black bear and one wolf. Or two wolves and a black bear, I'm assuming. It looks like a wolf are just right here. I've actually never used a bow in this game other than the crossbow, so this is going to be interesting as to how we do this. Oh, this, this is... Oh, this is going badly. <laughs> Can't even see the wolves. So there's that one. That's the wolf I want. Ah, oh, it moved right at the last second. Oh my goodness. This is embarrassing. Well, we hit it. We'll go ahead and pick this one up while we can. It weighed 112 pounds. We got $184 for it and scored 112 points. I'm almost certain that that wolf will probably come back and try and attack us again. But it looks like our bear is actually just right here. Uh, yeah, our bear is just right here. So Let's see. See, there's a the redemption arc. It's a great shot. I like that it actually shows the arrow being all the way through like that. That's a really cool feature. So here's our bear. Weighed 278 pounds. We got $337 for it. And it scored 30 points, which overall is not a bad black bear, I don't believe. Congratulations. Alright, so I believe that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, appreciate you tuning in. Um, here's the suit. And I know I say this just about every episode. But we are getting closer to finishing this. Um, I can't wait to. I've enjoyed this game, and I'm looking forward to the next game we play. Which, if you missed it in the last, I think it was the episode before this, I talked about uh, 
the game I'm going to play after this, which is going to be Need for Speed Carbon. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you're enjoying these types of videos or enjoying my content in general, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, your support is very appreciated. Um, we've grown immensely in the past six months since the beginning of the year. So I really appreciate all the support. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.